Oh, I don't know about. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want? Do you want some help with these? No, I got it. Thanks. Have a great day. You too. Who is that guy? Um, I don't know. He is awfully good looking. Okay, let's get a move on. We don't want to miss this. That is fantastic. And so real looking. Mm -hmm. I know. That's the thing of beauty. We should have bought one of these years ago. When will we get those grab bag presents under it? Morning. These are oh, beautiful. Did you pick them up this morning? Yeah. This is the season. Alice is waiting for us. We got a family. Sorry. Thanks. All right. Let's do it, team. Hi, guys. Oh, perfect timing. Alice just went to get her. Oh, wow. Well. I bet you guys are glad to see the last of this place. <laughs> Actually, I think we're going to miss you all. We're glad we're going to have to. Oh, they're coming. Oh. <laughs> you know, Emma put up a little bit of a fight, but I think I've convinced her that she's going to be happier in a comfy crib at home than in that old incubator. <laughs> There was a time I thought this day would never come. I knew it would. Because we're here. <laughs> it's a miracle. I think we're looking at the miracle. Well, we know that you are anxious to get her home. On glorious days like this, when our work is done, we have a, a special custom. Ready? Dear little angel, we bid you and you go spread your sweet wings and fly. We're sorry we kept you with us so long, but so thrilled to be saying goodbye. And though you are leaving, you won't be forgotten. We'll never be truly apart. So dear little angel, we love you so much. And each precious beat of your heart. Now you take your baby home. <laughs> this never gets old. How could it? <laughs> oh, I printed out that budget. Oh, are you? Bring it on. Are you sure that you really want to do this? Absolutely. I love a good party. Now, going to a party and planning a party are two very different things. Well, I was on my senior prom committee and we covered the entire ceiling of the gym in twinkle lights. So, I think planning a party for a few nurses is going to be a little easier. Oh, I cannot believe that it's almost Christmas again. I know, it's only three weeks away. And I have not gotten anything for my nieces. How about Mr. Dudley? Oh, he's got his squeak toys and his liver treats, and they're already wrapped. Good mama. That's uh, the same budget as every year, but you still have to get it approved. It's just a formality. Okay. I'm on it. Thank you, and good luck. <laughs> See ya. The flower girl. Sir Galahad. <laughs> Hardly. Uh, yeah, well, and I haven't been a flower girl since my aunt's wedding. I was four. Hi, Matt Crawford. Jenny Miller. Um, no more Mr. Brockman? No, no, he's got tired of CFOing, so I'm the new guy. Are you here on official business? Yes, I am. Here, have a seat. You know, I can look all this up on the internet. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? An old-fashioned guy. I have yet to read an e-book. Wow. Yeah. All right, what do you got? I just need this approved. Christmas party. Nike. you. Nick you. It's the neonatal intensive care unit. Sorry. I'm still brushing up on the hospital business. I've got a lot to learn. Okay. What? Uh, well, I don't really see the hospital as a business. Oh, 
but it is. You know what? It's just kind of a formality. Uh -huh. um, it's the same every year. Yeah, I got it. Here's the thing, Jenny. Um, there's a new policy at the hospital. So, all non-essential expenditures. Non-essential? Yeah. It's been reduced by 25%. A Christmas party for some hardworking nurses is hardly non-essential. Well, I mean, compared to paying the electric bill or keeping a stock with cotton gauze, it is. We don't use cotton gauze anymore. It's a poly blend. Like I said, a lot to learn. I just don't think I can pull off a party for that little. Sure you can. Creativity is your middle name. You just met me. I'm keen judge of character. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reduce your bottom line by 25%. Initial there. Voila. The new budget's approved. I'll just make you a copy. So you were able to calculate that in your head, hey? Yeah, I'm a numbers guy. No kidding. Yeah, here we go. Thank you. So if you need any help, you know, cutting costs, I'm your guy. Sure thing. It's nice to meet you, Jenny Miller. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to help me. Are you kidding, Mom? It's my favorite Christmas tradition. I thought staying up late for Santa was. <laughs> Maybe when I was little. Okay, fine. It's my second favorite. How's it going, guys? We've changed our minds. We're making fruitcake instead of Christmas cookies. Wait, that's not fun. No, Bob, it's, um, we're serious. I repeat. We'll let you know when the cookies are ready. I could help you. Get oh, out of here. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Well, let me know the minute they're ready so I can make sure that they sure, came they come right. right. <laughs> I need your help. Sure. It's Bob's and my 30th Christmas together. Mom, that's fantastic. I want to get him something special to let him know how much these 30 years have meant. But I just don't know what that something special is, and well, he's impossible to shop for. I know. It's because you stopped wearing ties. You're a stepdaughter. You could bring some fresh perspective to this. Well, do you want me to come shopping with you? Would you? Yes, of course. In what universe would I not? Thank you. Wow, 30 years, hey? You sound surprised. Oh. You guys are so different. You know, you like tennis. He likes golf. You could hike for days. He can hike for an hour tops. And those delicious mushrooms you put in your risotto, he picks them out. <laughs> And beets. You cannot get the man to eat beets. Well, opposites attract. And we're in sync where it counts. Especially our love for Christmas cookies. Mom, I don't know anybody who doesn't love your Christmas cookies. Hey. Hey. Wow. Someone has a Santa complex. Blame the toy store. Too many choices, too much time. What do you want these? Pile them here. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> wow. I don't know. It seems like somebody may be overcompensating for, like, a guilty conscience. My big sister, the psychoanalyst. How's the new job going? It's fine. Yeah? Making any of those tough decisions yet? Starting to. Like I said, compensation. <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, Eric. Where in the world did you get that? Well, from a North Pole theme park that went belly up. Why in the world did you get that? To give the kids a spin around the lot out front. Okay, and to drive it around town, you know, advertise the place a little. Oh, it's actually a good idea. It was Isabel's. All the good ideas are. This guy, astute. I've trained him well. My friend Lucy is going to be in town again. She's visiting her family. She really enjoyed her time with you last year. Three movies in one day, right? That was four with a dinner break. The holiday releases this year, they look super good. Guys, I told you. No more casual dating. Okay, well, it's only casual if it doesn't turn serious. It's not going to turn serious with Lucy. She lives a thousand miles away. Details. I just hate seeing so much talent go to waste. The good men are hard to find. Or so I've heard. <laughs> okay, well, then you should put yourself back on the market, Eric. I can't. I meant it when I said I do. Right answer. 
Ew. All right, you know what? That's my cue to leave. Sort. I... I'll help you. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, please tell me one of those plates is for us. I know it. Yes! Hmm. Ooh, what are you watching? That cute elf movie. The good elf. Yes, that's the one. Hmm. Oh, you are an angel. Hmm. Oh, sweet today, hey? I'm on her family. Yep. Stays like today. I really love our job. Hmm. Amen. Of course, it's not the job I dreamed of when I was a little girl. What? Bring master jobs are hard to come by. It's true. Plus, have you ever stood next to an elephant? Yeah, it's terrifying. I bet. <laughs> I'm doing exactly what I dreamed of doing. I know. Hmm. And Merry Christmas to you, too. Bye. Oh, Secret Santa. And I wrapped it myself this time. Like it? No peeking, though. No peeking. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later. Oh, hey, good morning, lady. Shopping with me at lunch today? I need to price out supplies for that Christmas party. I can't. I have Pilates. I gotta watch every nickel if I'm gonna pull this off. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know that when you were in the CFO's office. Did you happen to notice any pictures of a wife or a girlfriend? I didn't. Because he is awfully handsome. Yes, you said that a couple of times. Morning, guys. Good morning, Walt. Oh, uh, you have a chance to sample those yet? Or just to make sure they turned out okay? It's gotta be a guy thing. Yes, they have been sampled, but thank you. Yeah, it was worth a shot. And put it back. Yeah, okay, yeah, putting, putting, it, putting it back. Okay, good. You are all here. Yeah, what's going on? So this morning, um, there was a letter uh, waiting for me from Human Resources. And there is no way to soft pedal this. Um, I've been asked to take an early retirement. What? No, really. Are you serious? The hospital is instituting some cost-cutting measures, and uh, several senior staff have been let go. Wow. Merry Christmas. Jenny. You fired Alice? Alice. Shelby, my supervisor? Uh, let me check. Oh, right, right. You don't know who she is. You don't know her name, obviously. That's the only explanation for why you could have done something so unthinkable. Yeah, here she is. Look, at I, I can see that you're upset. Alice is one of the hospital's guiding lights, okay? She's an inspiration. She has saved the lives of scores of babies. She has trained I don't know how many nurses. Well, now, so ho hold on a minute, Jenny. I mean, she's not the only person that we're letting go. There's a number of people who are taking early retirement in all departments, even this one. And, and may I add, with severance and a full pension. The hospital's finances are really that bad? Yeah, they are. That's why I'm here. Brockman, if he didn't want to do it, had to be done. So they hired a hatchet man? They hired someone who is not afraid to make tough decisions. The hospital has to make cuts. The, the, the numbers simply don't add up. Alice isn't a number. She's a person. <clears throat> I'm sorry that it had to happen. Did it have to happen right before Christmas? Hi. 
Are you okay? Yeah, new arrival. A boy. He's uh, 32 weeks, just under three pounds. Complications? No red flags yet. He's stable. And here, I'm signing in his chart. And could you bring the parents down? Obi, just release the mother. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Mr. and Mrs. Bradley? How is he? He's fine. Yeah, he's breathing easily, with help. His heartbeat is steady. When can we see him? Now. I'm Jenny Miller. I work in the neonatal intensive care unit, and your son... James. That's His a, name is James. That's a beautiful name. Uh, James is there right now, and the best doctors and nurses in the world are giving him their full attention, so... Let's go say hi. We don't have to tell you this, but James was born a little more than eight weeks early. Why? We don't know why. Truth is, one in 13 babies are born prematurely. And James was particularly eager to make an appearance. Yeah, you got a real go-getter here. But the problem is, when a baby is born early, it doesn't have as much baby fat as if he were full term. And besides making babies huggable and just adorable, baby fat helps keep him warm and prevents excess water loss. So that's our main focus right now, to keep James warm and hydrated until he can do it on his own. That's why he's in the incubator. And for how long? Well, I wish that I could say for certain, but it will probably be a few weeks. Will we be able to hold him? Not just yet. Um, but you can see the incubator is designed so you can touch him. And as soon as pediatrics gives the go-ahead, you will. And for however long James needs to be here, you can be right by his side 24-7. We will. <laughs> if we're going to be spending so much quality time together, then please, call me Dan. And Selena. Dan and Selena. Welcome to your new temporary home. <laughs> um, if you want, you can go and get closer. How are you doing? Well, some pretty rough news this morning. Yeah, absorbing. The hospital is a buzz. Apparently a dozen people retiring early. Yeah, well, you're not going to be one of them. But if I am, it's okay. No, that's not okay. Well, nothing lasts forever, Jim. It changes inevitable. What are we going to do without you? You will be fine, just like you were today, because I've trained you well. What will you do without us? Um, travel, and read all those books that I've been meaning to get to. And finally spend some more time with my brother and his family. Oh, I guess Dudley's gonna be happy to have you around more. Well, I hope so, because he has a really big crush on his dog walker. <laughs> but don't worry about me, Jen. This could be the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay. Wow, your angels are still sending you Christmas cards. Yes, they are so thoughtful. It's incredible. It's a party for nurses. You know, they're hardworking, underpaid. Yeah, I'm hardworking and underpaid. But look at how much I'm buying, though. Discounts on advertised items only. Come on. Chris, can I call you Chris? I'm on a really tight budget here. You know, I can actually verify that. There was a tight-fisted bean-counting Scrooge just slashed it to shreds. This is not my problem. You know what? Community Memorial is a nonprofit, so any sort of discount that the store wants to give could be considered a tax write off. Are you authorized to take donations on behalf of the hospital? No, but he is. I am. I am because I am the CFO of the hospital. Hmm. There's a form for that. I'll be right back. Thanks, Chris. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a pretty cold shoulder. Let me see, is this... Nope, not gonna find that one any warmer. It's pretty frosty, too. You know what? I get that you're trying to be funny right now. I'm bringing my best I'm stuff I'm not here. gonna take the bait. 
Why? A little bit, Yar. A little bit. I told you how I feel about what you're doing at the hospital this morning. Jenny, my job is not me. Well, mine is. I got the, uh, form. Awesome. That's, thank you. Yeah. There's no way you can keep Alice on. There really isn't. I'm sorry. Why not? Uh, well, first, it, it wouldn't be fair to the other people that we're letting go. You know, I'm sure their departments are upset that they're leaving, too. And that doesn't bother you? Tell you what. How about we not talk about this anymore? You see things your way, I see things my way. Fine. So what's with all these canned goods? Are you planning on hibernating for the winter? <laughs> uh, my church puts together uh, Christmas baskets for needy families. Hmm. The softer side of Scrooge. Well, I have to do good work, so I'm not saving lives like you are. That is right. If you give me a second, I'll help you load your car. I think I can manage. Hey, if you need anything else, uh, any other, you know, help with the party, let me know. Have a nice day, Jenny Miller. Bye. Hey, I had one of these when I was a kid. Me too. Seriously? Yeah, I had a whole fleet of them. It was for her imaginary circus. Mm -hmm. Lucky, I just had the one. Those would be perfect for the holiday grab bags. So, guys, I've been thinking, this is going to be Alice's last Christmas party. Oh, well, thanks for reminding us. But what if we make the party all about her? A celebration of Alice. She'll never come for that. She hates being the center of attention. So we don't tell her. Surprise party. Cool. Uh, I'll DJ, by the way. Free of charge. Thanks, pal. So this is my idea. You know how she gets all those Christmas cards every year from families of former patients? Mm -hmm. Think of how many more families there are, how many more patients. What if everybody sent her a Christmas card? Well, a lot of them do. Yeah, but there are plenty more that don't. So if we could somehow find them and, and tell them that Alice is leaving and encourage them to send a card, we could get a huge tree. We could hang all the cards on it. I was on the team that computerized our records last year. It'd be real easy for me to put together a database. Really? You could do that? Oh, you bet. You know what? We'll, we'll have the cards sent to our place. That way Alice doesn't ever see That's them. That's perfect. But guys, we only have 16 days till the party, so we gotta get a move on. And also, it's a surprise, guys. Thank you. Hey, sis. I'm good, you? That's great. Hey, I got a quick question for you and Eric um, about your holiday schedule. Morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, Jenny, that uh, database is in your inbox. Oh, thank you, Walt. Thank you for wrapping all those grab bag presents. Ah, my pleasure. Good morning. How was your night? Uh, restless. I kept waking up to check on him, make sure he was okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you would be doing that if you were at home, too. I know, but at home I could take him to bed with us. It's hard having him so close and not being able to hold him. We so want to bond with him. You will. I promise. And I would know I was born prematurely. You were? Mm-hmm. I spent almost three weeks in an incubator. And my mother and I couldn't possibly be more bonded. The babies we nurse, we call them our angels. And we have a special mantra, courtesy of Alice. We treasure our angels by each precious beat of their hearts. That's beautiful. 
James is getting stronger with each of his heartbeats. And if we have anything to say about it, there's going to be a couple billion more ahead. Matt! Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Can I help you? Yeah, I was hoping to talk to you for a minute. Sure. Excuse me. Talk to me about what? Have you found a place, a venue for your party? No, but I'm working on it. Okay, well, I think that I found a fantastic place. I really don't need your help, Matt. I know you don't, but this place is perfect. I think you just need to see it. It's five minutes from the hospital. Here, you're gonna ask for Isabel or Eric. That was really sweet, by the way. What was? What you said to that couple. Sweet. Welcome to Forever Young at Heart. This place is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Exactly. Um, are you Isabel? Matt Crawford suggested I drop by. Oh, right. Yes, you must be Jenny. Oh. Yes, nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Um, so is this the venue? Yep, I'd give you the grand tour, but as you can see, it's just one big happy place. Oh, I'll say. Now, your rental rate is... For you, we can do 50% off. That's our family discount. Matt and I are not... Oh, no, I'm... I met sister. I oh. get, he didn't mention that. He did not mention that. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. It was a pretty short conversation. I'm kind of mad at your brother, um, actually. Oh, are you one of the people that he had to let go from the hospital? No, no, but my supervisor is. And uh, then he went and slashed the budget for this party. So he's trying to help you out? Yeah, I guess. Um, but I'd really rather he didn't. Did you want me to charge you full price? Oh, no! Oh. Please don't! <laughs> This is, this is perfect. But it's easy to get some still. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, hey, can you give me a minute? Oh. Yeah, take two if you need it. Hey. Hey. Um, I wanted to tell you that I went to Forever Young at Heart today. And you're right, it's perfect. Yeah. Good. I, I thought that it would be. So I wanted to thank you for the recommendation and for the discount. You're welcome. And then I want to just ask you to please stop helping me. Okay. Why not? Because it's messed up. You created a problem a that second. I think that you I need to own up to anything. instead of trying to make it up to me. Wow. Okay. Okay, I got that you were strong-willed and passionate about the things that you care about. I just missed the whole world evolves around me thing. What is that supposed to mean? Jenny, look, I'm tired of you trying to make me feel bad for doing what I have to do, for what the hospital tasked me to do. I have to cut the budget. And I am sorry that your friend Alice is losing is her so job. That really friend. is a bad thing, but I'm not targeting Alice. I'm not targeting you. I'm not targeting anybody. I looked at the data. I saw what I had to do, and I did it. Yeah. You looked at the data. Is that all Alice is? Is that what I am? Wow. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, no worries. I always love that picture of you and Bob. Oh, yeah, me too. That was from our he swept me off my feet phase. Yeah, no kidding. That looks like a couple crazy in love. Were you and my father ever that crazy about each other? I loved your father. I was devastated when I lost him. I really wish I could have known him. You would have loved him too. To have had that love and, and then have Bob, I'm incredibly lucky. Yeah. I wonder if I'll ever get that lucky. Yeah, sure you will, if you want it. I don't know about that. The older I get, the more I just feel like I'm married to my work. Well, if that's what you want, there is nothing wrong with that. Let's go. Store closes at 8. Perfect gift, huh? I think so. But I'll let you judge for yourself. Can't wait. 
When I was little, right after you and Bob were married, he took me shopping for my birthday and he told me I could have anything I wanted. I remember that. So I was busy trying to figure out which My Little Pony to get. He was captivated by this train set and he told me that it was all he ever wanted when he was a boy, but his family couldn't afford it. No, I'm sure they couldn't have. So I kind of feel like you'd be making a boyhood dream come true. You know, and what would be more special for Christmas than that? We'll take this. <laughs> How are you going to keep Bob from seeing that before Christmas? I have a special hiding place. I've been thinking about that conversation we had earlier. Do you think I'm married to my job? Do you? I don't know. I mean, I love my job. You know, it's what I always wanted to do, but sometimes I feel like there should be more. Well, are you dating? <laughs> no. No. I mean, it's not like anybody's asking me out, so... Well, it's the 21st century, Jenny. You can do the asking. Yeah, and if there's somebody that I really liked, I probably would, but... There isn't. Love has a very funny way of sneaking up on you. And if you keep your heart open, it just may surprise you. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Okay, thank you. Mm. I have an appointment with a potential caterer tomorrow, Francisco. Oh, Francisco who? Just Francisco. Well, that's good. Yeah. How'd you hear about him? Walt. He said that he catered one of his friend's weddings and it was scrumptious. Are all these for Alice? Yep. The email went out like two days ago. She's a popular lady. We're gonna need a big tree. Oh yeah. Goji bean, mint, and pumpkin seed. Now, that'll give you a taste if I prepare food. I can't predict what will be served with an idea party. Oh, so there's no set menu? It depends on what ingredients are available the day of. Mm. Seasonal and fresh. That's my motto. Dig in. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. And I'll use that word sparingly. Thank you. Um, obviously we'd love for you to cater the party. Are you available on the 20th? Uh, yeah. I had a cancellation. It's great. This is my budget. I can't possibly do it for this little. It's all I have to work with. This will barely cover my costs. It's... Look, it's for a really special group of people. It's um, for the nursing staff at Community Memorial and the NICU. It's, it's an acronym for... Neonatal Intensive Care Unit? Yeah, exactly. At Community Memorial? Yeah, and we just don't have the resources. Hmm? When I was a kid, my baby brother was a patient there. and They saved his life. Mm -hmm. it, it would be an honor to cater your party. Really? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much. I can't wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's you. All right. I'm not following you. I swear. I'm Christmas shopping. And I was just meeting with the caterer for the party. Oh, Francisco's. I know him. He catered my uh, my aunt's sixtieth. His food was the highlight of the party. <laughs> hey, Jenny Miller. Last time I saw you, I said some things that I'm sorry about. I was out of line. Well, maybe I was too. Well, I mean, it's no excuse, but my job, sometimes, it makes me insensitive. Or if you believe my sister Isabel, I'm too sensitive, and so then I try to find ways to compensate. Like with a cart full of can goods? Yeah, or saving poinsettias for a damsel in distress. Oh, I'm not a damsel, and I'm not in distress. It's good, because my jousting dragon skills, they're rusty. <laughs> um, well, I should get back to work. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, Are you you're the same way. Amazing, and his food is exceptional. He uses all like table stuff. And at cost. And he's doing it at cost? Yeah. <laughs> it's very generous of him. I know. Not surprised though. Things we do at Memorial, they have a very profound impact on people's lives. And nobody does it better than Alice. Well, they don't. All right, you're not going to believe me, but if I could save Alice's job, I would. 
I would save everybody's. You're right. I don't believe you. Listen, Jenny, in the real world, sometimes you got to make tough decisions for the greater good. And it's not always fun. So you're a realist, and I'm not. No, no. What I'm saying is that you see your reality from a very certain angle. You're clear about that. You know your mind, and you stick to your guns. Well, so do you. So see, we're not that different, Jenny Miller. <laughs> All right, I got a serious question for you. Do you have a Christmas tree yet for your Christmas party? No, uh, and we're going to need a big one. Okay. I know where you can get a great tree. Of course you do. No, no, no. I'm saying I know where you can get a truly unbelievable tree for a truly unbelievable price. Yeah? Are you going to make me ask where? No, I'm going to make you come with me to go get it. Matt. Come on. We've got a nice thing going. I don't want to break up the momentum. Jenny, I didn't come to community to make enemies, especially not somebody like you. Come with me. Get to know me. See that I'm not such a bad guy. Oh. I gotta get back to the hospital. Is everything okay? I don't know. Uh, bye. Bye, Jenny. Hey. Hey, uh, you're with Alice. Is so we did, and then, of course, you were our first call. Hi. I got here as fast as I could. Well, I was just walking the Bradleys through this. It's James's heart. It's, it's common with preterm infants. And the doctor performing the surgery is the absolute best. She's done this procedure hundreds of times. Successfully. The best place for James to be is right here. When will the doctor do the surgery? First thing, Monday morning. The 16th. Her birthday. Can we be there with James? No. But I will be with you every moment. All right, turn on the juice. Wow! Oh. Wow. How does it look? Fabulous! You nailed it, Bob. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Rudolph? Rudolph's not here? No, he isn't. Ah, oh, he must be in the house somewhere. I'll go get him. Where'd you hide him? In the garage behind a few boxes. Ah, uh, maybe he won't look there. We can hope. <laughs> How's Christmas party planning? Oh, it's coming along. We're gonna go get a tree tomorrow. Hmm. You need some help? No, oh, somebody from work is helping. Oh, um, Lauren. Uh, Matt. His name is Matt. You haven't mentioned that. Well, that's because he just started working there. In NICU? Uh, business affairs. You know him well enough to buy a Christmas tree already. Mom, he's just a friend. Where'd you meet him? At the hospital where we both work. Oh, someone introduced you. Mom! Sorry, am I asking too many questions? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Don't you think Bob did a great job? Yeah. And you know what? I think I do miss Rudolph. Me too. <laughs> Crawford's hauling and delivery at your service, ma'am. Is this yours? Eric's. It's for hauling all that playground equipment. It looks like it could scale Mount Everest. Which will come in handy where we're going. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> Up in. Find out. It's only an hour outside of the city. Well, I've never even been up here. Most people haven't. You know, I used to hike here when I was a little kid. Seems pretty off the beaten track for a Christmas tree farm, though. Who said anything about a Christmas tree farm? Wait, what? <laughs> We're cutting down a tree? Yeah, this place is crawling with them. Well, yeah, but isn't that illegal? Not if you have a permit. <clears throat> and do we have a permit? Jenny Miller. 
Do you not know me by now? Of course we have a permit. Of course we have a permit. Uh, so am I supposed to use these? <laughs> you can if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. You just let me do all the work. But I think that would be out of character, Jane Miller. You might be surprised. I'd like to be surprised by you. Then again, it might be me doing all the work and you just standing around. Let's just find a tree first. Which way? I'll tell you what. Let's go this way. You have no idea where to find a Christmas tree, do you? That's all part of the adventure. All right. My darling Bob, over the last 30 years, you've worked so hard to make all my dreams a reality. With this gift, I hope I can make a forgotten dream of yours come true. I will love you forever. Kate. This one looks pleasantly plump. How about that one? It's too small. Shape is good, but it's too small. Shape is good. It's too small. What exactly are you looking for? You know what? I think I'm just going to know when I see it. There it is. Hallelujah. <sighs> this will be perfect. <sighs> see, don't you think it was totally worth waiting for? Are you okay? Hi, buddy. How are you? Hi. Look what I got. Look what I got. Yeah? Okay. I cannot believe that we were able to get that tree to the truck. It's teamwork. And strong ropes. Strong ropes. By the way, this hot chocolate is unbelievable. Right? Yes. This is amazing. My dad used to get me to go hiking when I was a kid. He'd bring me here on the way home. He used it as a bribe. You're not a hiker, hey? Mm -mm. I mean, I am now. I love hiking. I love hiking more than I love hot chocolate. But I think, I think that was his plan all along. Smart guy. He was a super smart guy. I miss him. Oh, is he gone? Yeah, he, um, he passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's why I'm back. I came back to be with my mom and my sister, Isabel. Where were you? I was in Boston. With the college thing, I just stayed put. Hmm. Did you miss it? N no. I need more my speed. All right. Enough about me. What's your secret, Jane Miller? Mom, dad, siblings, your pet. Uh, I'm an only child. Yeah? My parents live here. Well, it's my mom and my stepdad. My um, dad, dad died when I was an infant. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I was young. I don't remember him. I bet that you do. 
And I bet you do, not the conscious you, the subconscious you. I just think the baby's taking a lot. I'm sorry, what do I know? I'm talking about babies to a baby expert. I don't know, I think you know plenty. All right, maybe we should go before my sister closes forever young at heart and get the tree out. I think, I think that before we go, we have time for one more hot chocolate, maybe. Oh, no, I don't think I could. Okay, all right. Matt Crawford, do you not know me at all by now? Hey, Sarah, can we get two more hot chocolates, please? Bye, bye, thank you. Good night. Wow, you guys, this looks amazing. Yeah. Thanks for letting us set up early. No, thank you. The customers are going to love this. Mm. Uh, now, would it be cool if I came over on Thursday night, the night before the party, to set up? Of course. Great. Eric, thank you for the loan. Anytime. All right, sis, see Bye. you. Bye. Thank you, again. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. We'll see you soon. You bet. OK. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Well, I can't tell. I know. Their body language is impossible to tell. She seems nice. She's really nice. But then again, your brother is really picky. Like me. <sighs> okay, smooth. Really smooth. Thank you for today. So you didn't find me to be too helpful? Ah, uh, once or twice. So this friendship has a chance. I won't rule it out. In that case, do you skate? Well, not to get all braggy on you, but I'm kind of Ice Castle's awesome on skates. Snowflake Rink has a two-for-one special on Monday nights. Let's meet to skate, but we'll continue our cost-cutting streak. We could. Great. So, um, I will meet you there Monday at 8. Sure, why not? Then it's a... I'll see you then. Uh-huh. I w will see you then. usually take this long? Yes. This is completely normal. Okay, I'm sure that we're gonna hear something any moment. Oh, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. You shouldn't have done that. Too late, I already did. Thank you. It's a baby book. Um, you can put pictures of James in there. Write down thoughts as you watch him grow. Have you ever kept a diary? No, I did. Junior high. <laughs> so funny reading it now, all those thoughts and feelings that were so monumental at the time. I don't even, I don't even remember them anymore. I don't think I could forget how I'm feeling now. No, of course not. How could you? But writing about it might help you get through it. Certainly helped me get through junior high. <laughs> junior high was a bear, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Everything went very well. Oh. Hey, hi. Oh, Eric, uh, Isabel. <laughs> hi, I didn't know that you guys were going to be here. Surprise. Double date. Oh, no, uh, not a date. Ah, it's not a date. Right. Matt tells me that you're an incredible skater. Apparently. I haven't seen her on the ice yet, so 
Matt will give you a run for your money. Did a little hockey in college. Little all state. Don't challenge him to a race. Well, I wasn't gonna race. I was just gonna skate. Well, it's good, because I'd whoop you out there. <laughs> oh, really? That's interesting. And the gun that has been thrown. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Alice. It's Alice Shelby. I'll be right back. Who's Alice Shelby? That's Ginny's supervisor from work. The one you fired? Yeah. Awkward. Hi! Jenny! <laughs> I didn't know you skate. <laughs> I don't, but I've always wanted to. Now I have the time to learn. Ooh. Right. Um, are you here alone? Yeah. You? Um, no, I'm just here with some friends. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that Matt Crawford, the new CFO? Yeah. You guys have met? No. Someone pointed him out to me in the cafeteria, but I would like to introduce me. Well, okay. Um, Matt? Uh, Eric? Isabel? Oh, <laughs> This Hi. is Alice. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. And I'm not going to be coy, Matt. I know who you are. Hi, Alice. Alice, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you. We're just... All right, have fun. Gonna... Should I... Should I go, too? Don't be silly. We all have a job to do. And I lost mine just because you were doing yours. That's life. And it really was. Very nice to meet you. So... Now I have to go find my instructor, <laughs> and when you see me out there on the ice, don't laugh. Don't oh. Laugh. Okay. Wow. I know, I told you she's amazing. I'm a believer. Are you having second thoughts there, Hatchet Man? Because she might be letting you off the hook, but I'm not. Yeah, see, I'd be disappointed if you did. So all state hockey, eh? Hey? Long time ago. I'm, I'm way off my game. Well, let's find out. You're not going to outrace me if you just stand there. Give me back the Christmas that I know. Hanging up the tree in mistletoe. I'll meet you there. La, 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 la. Give me back the Utah that I miss. Sweep off the dust from old St. Nick. He's got the Be sore tomorrow. Ugh, you and me both. Uh, hey, by the way, I declare tie. Oh, come what? on, Eric. I totally won. Oh, ah. somebody's in serious denial. Okay, it's not about winning or losing. It's about enjoying yourself, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I have really enjoyed meeting you all. And I want to thank you for not knocking me over out there. <laughs> okay, you are going to be <laughs> out racing us soon. Well, I doubt that, but I can only get better. And it has been really great to tackle something new. Come on. I need my beauty rest. Ah. I gotta get home, too. Dudley needs his bedtime walk. Of course. So I'll see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Good night, Matt. Good night, Alice. Huh. Come on. I'll walk you to your car. Yeah. Well, you were very good at ice skating, like Michelle Kwan. Just... Yeah. You weren't so bad yourself. Thanks. Hey, I've been thinking. And I want to tell you something. Um, I've been giving a lot of thought to the hospital business. Hey. Sorry about hospitals. Thank you. And what I've come to realize is that we are in customer service. In fact, we are in the ultimate customer service. How do you mean? Well, the way that doctors and nurses and staff treat patients on a personal level is as important as how they treat them on a medical level. That's for sure. It's all about a deft touch and a big heart. Sure is. And meeting Alice tonight, and just for a few minutes, I, <laughs> I see she's all about deft touch and a big heart. I get that. And losing her would be like losing a lifetime of experience, quality customer service. It would be hard to replace. Wow. You really have been catching up on the hospital business. It's nice. Us not, you know, bumping heads. At least not as often. Yeah. The headaches. It's like playing hockey again. <laughs> All right, 
I gotta go. It's yeah. getting late. Early morning tomorrow. Hey, when you're done with your shift, maybe I can pick you up, take you out to dinner, and we can finish this conversation. Yeah, I'd like that. Good. Then it's a plan. No, um, it's a date. And I totally whooped you on that ice today. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Jenny Miller. Good night. Last night, 10 o'clock, it's not that late. Uh, it is for you. Yeah, that's a sad commentary on my social life. Wait, do you have a social life? I might. Tell me everything and leave out nothing. Ah, oh, I like him. And we're going out again tonight, so Ooh, we'll see how it goes. Wow, you wild, romantic, impetuous fools. Wow. Considering that I wanted to throttle the guy two and a half weeks ago, I think we're moving plenty fast enough. I think you should stay out past 11 and spread your wings a little next time. Oh my goodness, are these still coming in? Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you, do you think we should take them out of the envelope before we pin them to the tree? Otherwise, it's going to take Alice forever to open all these. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah, do it. Okay. Is that Matt? <sighs> no, it's Walt. Oh. Oh, he has the night shift tonight, but the Pop Warner team he coaches is... Having its final game, so he wants me to sub. Please tell me you're not gonna say yes. What? Of course I am. What about your date? My date can wait till tomorrow. Unless, of course, you wanna work tonight. Oh, um, yeah. Have a wonderful evening at the hospital. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, this is Michelle Kwan. Woohoo, my childhood hero. <laughs> you know, I was always more of a Tara Lipinski fan myself. Hey, listen, I can't do dinner tonight. I have to work. Oh, that's okay. Uh, how about lunch instead? Ooh, I can't. I have lunch with my mom. How about tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. Uh, have fun with your mom. Thank you. Bye. Hi, uh, I'm trying to reach Jenny Miller. This is Jenny Miller. Hi, uh, my name's Greg Carter. You don't know me, but um, I got your email about Alice Shelby's retirement party. I'm one of her angels. That's great. Did you manage to send a card? Yeah, um, and I was just curious, when is she leaving the hospital? The first of the year. Do you think it would be okay if I dropped by the NICU before then to wish her well in person? I am sure she would love that. Great. And don't mention anything, okay? I want it to be a surprise. Greg, you've given me a great idea. I'll text you later. <laughs> great. Hmm. I hope you and Dad can make it to the Christmas party. I thought you were on a tight budget. Yeah, well, I managed to cut some corners, and I really just want you guys to meet Alice before she goes. Okay, sure. I'll bring my Christmas cookies. Yes, my ruse worked. The heading of none of my business how was christmas tree shopping with your friend matt oh um pretty great actually we uh went into the forest we got our own tree and then he took me to this roadside diner where we had really good hot chocolate are you gonna see him again i already did we went ice skating yesterday and we're gonna go for dinner tomorrow okay this is major news mom we're still just getting to know each other okay and enjoying every minute of it it seems yes yeah, there were bumps at first, but um, I am really enjoying it. What's he like? He's funny, um, thoughtful, he's a really good skater, and <laughs> as Lauren never tires of pointing out, he's quite handsome. And what about the bumps? I think it just took me a while to figure out who he really is. You really like this guy. I really do. Yes, you do. <laughs> What are you doing here? I am reporting for duty. How are patients? Stable and sleeping. Oh, 
And little baby James is recovering as well as any baby I've ever seen. Oh, that's wonderful. I thought Ashley was doing the graveyard tonight. I gave her the night off. Why? Hmm. Because I like the graveyard shift. I always have. Although I'm not crazy about the name. Oh, no. It does seem a little inappropriate for a hospital, doesn't it? You know, it's just it's so quiet this time of night. It's peaceful. And you can almost forget that this is a place where people are sick and hurting. Yeah, I know what you mean. And this time of year, it always reminds me of that other midnight clear. And how special Christmas is. This Christmas feels bittersweet. Sweet because of your new friend in business affairs. And bitter because of what he was forced to do. I don't want to leave, Jen. I will admit that, and I certainly never imagined myself leaving. Well, no, none of us did. It's probably time. I'm getting fewer Christmas cards from angels this year. Oh? Yeah, it's a message, I think. I don't know, life moves on, they have, so, so should I. It's just the natural order. I don't know about that. And by the way, Although no one's asked for my input yet, if they do, I'm going to recommend you as my replacement. What? Me? Uh, no, no, I, I'm not qualified. Of course you are. You are smart and you're dedicated. And you're compassionate and you're quick on your feet, you're great with people. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That. And self-effacing. <laughs> Good night, Alice. <laughs> Good night, Jeff. Hey, so I'm betting that after a long shift, you're hungry, and frankly, I couldn't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> it's midnight. Is anything open? Yes, there is. Come on. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Do you even know how to drive this thing? Um, no, but don't tell Eric. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? De Noel, a three. Beautiful. Thank you, Francisco. Oh, my Aunt Maya. She says hello. Oh, tell her I say hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. I can't even. This is It looks amazing. amazing. All right, um, lights on your Christmas tree. White lights or colored lights? Oh, white lights. Classic girl. What's your favorite Christmas carol? Joy to the World. Mm, Silent Night. Favorite Christmas pop song? Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> Little St. Nick. Favorite Christmas movie. Oh, easy. It's a wonderful life. Oh, if you'd said anything else, I'd be out of here. New Year's resolution that you can never keep. Oh, my goodness, where to start? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the list like a mile long. New Year's resolution that you plan to make this year. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep that one to myself. Probably a good idea. I don't want to jinx it. It's a New Year's resolution that I plan on keeping. Me too. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is incredible. I know. Where did you get the recipe for From this? From that little roadside diner that Matt and I had lunch at the day we took down the tree. Matt and I? I like the sounds of that. Okay, stop it. Hey, what was all the phone calls and texting tonight? Can you keep a secret? Well, I can certainly try. You gotta promise. <sighs> Fine, I promise. Just reading the good news. Better than expected weight gain. Starting to breathe a little on his own. Well, I'm not surprised. You have a tough little guy in there. Better not be too tough. Only in the ways that count. <laughs> is it too much to hope we might have him home for Christmas? Well, hoping isn't a bad thing. But um, I wouldn't count on it. But remember, you're going to have a lifetime of Christmases after this. All those precious heartbeats. Mm -hmm. Billions of them. Right now, I just want to hold him. Really hold him. You will. Yeah. I mean, tamales for the party tonight. Family tradition. Selena. I know you already have a caterer, but anything he makes, well, it won't be made with nearly as much love and gratitude. Thank you. You're in the fridge in the nurse's lounge. I already told Walt to keep away from the hotel <laughs> tonight. Smart move. All right, well, I'll check in on you later. Hi. Hi. Hi, what are you doing for lunch? I am meeting Matt. Oh, nice. I'm going to the Snowflake. Do you two want to join me? Mm, I'm hungry. But you're really into the skating thing, huh? Yeah, and who knows? Today I might even let go of the rail. Ooh, good <laughs> luck. Bye. Yeah, it is Christmas time. You're absolutely right. And a 5% salary reduction is a significant hit. And if there was another way to do this, we would do it. But there's not. I mean, sacrifices have to be made to protect the bottom line. Okay. Okay. You too. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, I was just going to come find you. Isabel told me better. I can't go to lunch with you, Matt. Why? This just isn't going to work out. What? Us. Um, yeah, I thought that it would, and I hoped that it would, but, um, it's not. Jenna, I don't understand. I just can't do this. Okay. We we're not going to believe what just happened. Thanks. Are you okay? I thought you were supposed to be having lunch with Matt. No more lunches with Matt. No more anything with Matt. Uh, what happened? I was just wrong about him. Or rather, I was so right about him in the first place. Did you guys get in a fight? You know what? I don't really want to talk about it. Actually, I don't even want to think about it. I just, I just want to focus on the party. Yeah, you see, that's what you're not going to believe. Alice just pulled a back muscle. What? Yeah, ice skating. She just went home. That's awful. That party we planned for her tonight? She's not going to be there. Maybe we should just postpone the party. No, we can't do that. There are way too many moving parts. Way too many. We just got to make sure that Alice gets there. How are we going to do that? Um, well, if I have to throw her over my shoulder and carry her there, I will do that. See? You're taking charge. This is why you are going to make a great supervisor. Oh. Did Alice tell you about that? Yeah. I think it's a great idea, and so do all the other nurses. Great. No pressure. I'm sorry about Matt. You know what? Let's just keep our eyes on the prize. This is all about Alice. Okay? She didn't give you a reason. No. Nothing. Well, it sounds like maybe she got cold feet. And I flooded her with the patented Crawford charm. Full court press. I guess it's 
Better you found out now things weren't going to work out. I got her such a great Christmas present. Wow. What a gorgeous dress. <laughs> this old thing. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great time at the party. Thank you. Obviously, I'm on my way there, but um, I have one last order of business before I clock out. This is Ashley. She's part of the excellent crew that's going to be subbing in for us tonight. I consulted with the team today, and I spoke to the head of pediatrics. And we all decided that because your little fella is doing so well, it might be time to spend some quality time with mom and dad. Here. Well, you should be at the party. I know, but I, j I just don't want my back going out in, in the middle of everybody's fun. Standing and walking. No crutches or cane. Noted. Okay, you got 10 minutes to put your party dress on. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Or you are coming to the party wearing that. <laughs> Even Dudley's got my back. Decorations. If I oh, could hi. direct your attention over this What way. is the... Oh, and... What's the some personal decorations here, too. Take a look. Oh, my. Your angels didn't stop sending you cards. They just sent them somewhere else. There's so many. Well, we told people you were leaving and they wanted to wish you well. <laughs> That's... Well. Now, for some people, it wasn't quite enough to send a card. So... Alice. Hi. It's... Greg Carter, Alice. I, I, I changed a bit since you last saw me. Gregory Carter. Wow. <laughs> My goodness, you are all grown up. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so lovely. How are you? How are your parents? I remember it's Rachel and Mel, right? You should ask them yourself. <laughs> Hello. Well, it's been a long time. Oh, thank you for for coming with sorry this is just a big surprise happy holidays thank you too hi so <laughs> she looks great thank you congratulations <laughs> again are you sleeping at all no. <laughs> as it should be <laughs> thank you for being here merry christmas merry christmas oh and are you all feeling Oh, what a great coincidence. Thank you. And look at all of you. Hello. How did you all find me here? How did you all? So happy to see you. So happy to see you all. Merry Christmas. Hello. Hi. Oh, I remember you. So good. Thank you for being here. You did good. Wonderful. Did you know? 
And we just sent out the word. This is all Alice. Of course. She spent her whole life working on this. Hello. Hi, Merry Christmas. I remember you. Hello. Oh, my mom and dad. It's the best Christmas present. Thank you. Hi, guys. So glad you came. I want you to meet the star of the show. Yes, okay. <laughs> One more, okay? I just, I want you to meet my mom and, and stepdad. Oh. This is Kate. Wonderful to meet you. And, you and too. Bob and this is... Jenny's told us so much about you. Well, we feel like we know you already. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, have we met? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Ah, Kate, right? Kate. Kate Magruder. Magruder was my first husband's name. He passed away when Jenny was very young. I'm Kate Miller now. You wouldn't remember me because I was just so young. I was um, just fresh out of nursing school. But I was a very small, very peripheral part of of the team that treated your newborn. And I remember you because your little Mary was the very first baby that I was ever actually able to help save. How is she? Wow, where, where is she? I never liked the name Mary. Um, Jennifer's my, my middle name. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Now I know why. Well, tonight I am one of your angels. That is right. And we're just getting started. So you stay right here. Hi, guys. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, we all know why we're here. To celebrate Christmas, of course. But just as much to celebrate the extraordinary Alice Shelby. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much and everything that Alice has done for each one of us. We have a little custom, as most of you know, at the NICU on the occasion of departures. Our special Alice, we bid you adieu. Go spread your sweet wings and fly. We'd keep you forever, if only we could. But now we must hug you goodbye. Uh, but though you are leaving, you won't be forgotten. We'll never be truly apart. You're special, dear Alice. We love you so much. And each precious beat of your heart. Thank you, Jim. If I could have your attention just for a moment longer, everyone. Um, I'm Matt Crawford. You wouldn't be here tonight wishing Alice well on the next leg of her journey if it hadn't been for me. Um, I'm the guy who let her go. Uh, I know, I know. I did that before I knew Alice or the NICU or really anything about Community Memorial and the people who worked there. They were just, well, you <laughs> were just numbers to me, data. But somebody that I have come to really care about and admire reminded me that people aren't numbers or data. <laughs> so, at the risk of being the worst party pooper ever, I have to tell you that we can't help Alice celebrate the next leg of her journey tonight. Sorry. 
because if you want your job back, you can have it. In fact, everybody I let go can. I, I, I talked to management, I made an appeal, and the senior staff at the hospital, and almost to a person, everyone agreed on a 5% salary cut for the upcoming year to keep everybody on until I can find a more hospital-friendly way to save some money. So, Alice, what do you say? Can I give you back your job? An early Christmas present? Yes. <laughs> yes, you certainly can. <laughs> And what say you? Should we shut the shindig down it's no longer necessary or party on? That's the spirit. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a great gift. Thank you. Well, I hope Jenny liked your Christmas present. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's my cue. Look it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Does that mean that you want to see me again? <laughs> I'll take that as you know. <laughs> yes. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. <laughs>